So if you get out and poke around enough, you never know what you're going to find. In this case, it's this strange rock. Okay, take a look at this. At first, when Linda and I saw this, we thought it was a piece of coral. Just briefly, Linda recognized it kind of right away. You can see that, let's see if I hold it just right, you can see that the holes in it actually run all the way through it like this. So these holes, this is like this, these holes would have gone all the way through it. Now what does that? I'll let you take some guesses and leave it in the comments below. Remember, I'll tell you right now, it's not coral. Leave, leave some guesses in the comments below right now, and then later on in the video, I'll tell you what this is, and we'll see if you're right. Today's video is brought to you by Vaunt, makers of the Spark LED headlamp. Part of camping safety is to be able to see what's around you at night and see where you're going. So Linda and I have made a habit of using headlamps over the years, and we've tried all different kinds and the ones that, I, that we're using these days are, are these uh, spark headlamps made by Vaunt. They sent me a pair to review and they sent me an extra pair, which we're going to do a, a giveaway so that you can win a pair. And then I liked them so much I bought another pair. The thing about these is, is they're very inexpensive. You get two of them for, well right now the retail price on uh, Amazon is $14.99 and sometimes it's even less than that. You'll have to check the link below. And there's going to be a 10% off uh, coupon at the bottom in the, uh, in the uh, video description. Look for that 10% off. But I liked them so well that I went ahead and bought some of them for my own so I can just have a couple of them in the car. I can have a couple of them in our trailer. I can have a couple of them at the house too because they're excellent for working on your engine and for doing things around camp at, at night and everything. I just think they're great. They're, they're lightweight, but they're built really well too. I kind of like that. They've got a, a 45 degree feature on them here so you could tilt them down 45 degrees to light up what's right here in front of you. And that's easy to operate. They hold three batteries and that's a lot of juice. That'll power this for three hours on high beam, which is 200 lumens, and that's plenty. Eight hours on low beam, which is still plenty bright. And, uh, and 90 hours with just the red lights. Now some of my headlamps that I already own are USB rechargeables. And those are fine, except for the main problem with USB rechargeable headlamps is that when they go out, they're out until you recharge them again. And the nice thing about a regular headlamp with batteries is when it goes out, you just change the batteries. Well, what I do is I keep rechargeable batteries in here. So it's like the best of both worlds. That's the way to do it. So these are highly water resistant and they're shockproof. As for water resistance, these are rated as IPX5. Now that's a scale that it has to do with electronics and it goes from like IPX0 to IPX like 8 or maybe more. IPX0 is like if it is like nothing, is like if something got wet it would be ruined. IPX5 is designed to take a low pressure water spray from any angle for prolonged periods. So in other words, these for hiking, you can be in a downpour and these are gonna be all right. Yeah, IPX5 is plenty water resistant. They also come with a lifetime guarantee, no questions asked. If something goes wrong with it, you send it back, they send you a new one. Good stuff. This is how the headlamps come packaged. Box like this, and inside is the, is the pair of them. There's one headlamp. And the other one. I was looking at the reviews on these and there's come some confusion on how they operate. But basically when you push the button once, it comes on on its low setting. You push the button again, it goes high. You go again, it goes higher again. So it's got three settings there. And then the next setting is the strobe and then off. When you push the button again, it just goes to its low setting. If you leave it on for a little bit, you're using it, then you turn it off. 
When you push the button on, it'll come back to just this low setting again. So every time you pick it up and turn it on, it goes back to the low setting. If I use it for a little bit, it's not going to cycle through. It'll just turn off. So it's very easy to use. To get the red light to come on, you push it and hold it. And then the red light comes on. And then it goes to the red strobe, the Morse code there. And then it uh, and then it goes off. Now I've selected red, so the next time I turn this on, it's just going to go to red. And then I'll turn it off. It'll just go off. And when I turn it on again, it'll just go to red again. And it'll stay like that unless I push and and there. Let me get it off here. There it goes. There's the strobe. It'll stay like that until I turn. I push and hold to choose the white light again. And now we're back to using the white light. So for the price, you can't go wrong. The last time I saw these was yesterday on Amazon. They were $9.99 for a pair. Use the 10% coupon and get them for cheaper than that. Worth having around. That's Vaunt, it's the spark headlamp. Okay, like I said, they sent me two pair. The one I've done the review on, and this one's for you. Just leave a comment at the, at the bottom of this video. And uh, two weeks from the date of the posting of this video, we'll have a drawing for these and I hope you win. Well, a while back, Linda and I did a video on camp security, on picking a, a good place to camp, what to look for in a camp to see if, it, if it's a safe place to stay or not, what kind of areas to avoid, and what we do to keep ourselves safe when we're when we're on the road. One thing that uh, that I brought up was uh, motion uh, getting motion sensor lights, and I did. I picked up a couple of these, and off of uh, Amazon, they're cheap. I bought a pair of them for I don't remember what it was, but I'll I'll, I'll post a link to this down in the uh, in the description of the video. But people said, well, if you put those up on the side of your trailer, then it, then the squirrels and the deer and everything else are gonna be setting that off all night long. But uh, we came, we found something that actually works for this that, where that doesn't happen. And just so you know, this is something I purchased with my own money and uh, it's not a paid review of any kind. I'm not in connection with the company. This is just something I bought to try out for myself. And this video is just what I think about it. Now let me show you what, what this is all about. First of all, it's got four modes on it. It's got two modes for daytime and two modes for nighttime. So it reads, it'll read the light differently. Uh, it'll either flash just a, uh, a red light flashing light and an alarm or just a red flashing light. And then for nighttime, same thing, flashing light and an alarm alarm or just uh, or just the flashing light by itself and that flashing light by itself has got another purpose which I'll show you a little later in the video so it's uh, it's lithium battery powered and it's solar rechargeable to me it looks like it's constructed very well especially for the price it's all sealed because it's all one unit and uh, it's got the uh, solar cell on top. They said if you use it all night long, then it, it should receive enough solar the next day to recharge itself so it's good for another night. It's got the button on the back. You push it once and that's, um, that's mode one. Push it another time, you're in mode two, mode three, mode four, and off. This white down here is not a light. This is the sensor itself. And then the red flashing light is up here. And it's got a 30 day standby on it. It's a 110 decibel alarm. So it's pretty loud, it's pretty piercing. You'll notice it. And it's infrared detection. But watch how this thing works so that you don't pick up all the squirrels. Keep going. All right, yeah. That works pretty good. So you see, I had it angled up just a little bit so that if you stand up straight and walk through there, walk in there, it's gonna pick you up and the alarm's gonna go off. 
but if you're about the height of the of, of a deer or something then it then you can set it so it won't pick you up or pick it up especially you're especially not going to pick up squirrels and skunks and things like that in the middle of the night even mountain lions and coyotes whatever so you can you can you can adjust these so that they don't just go off all night long with the alarm so what we discovered about this is that the beam coming out of here is a flat like a flat plate it's not a big a big beam like this you know it's a flat beam so by tilting this you can actually just give it a little bit of a tilt so that it doesn't pick up things underneath it so you can aim it that's what makes it work so this last February Linda and I were down in Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument <laughs> And uh, the campground's a big one, and there was a lot of RVs, all different kinds in there. But one thing we noticed was that all the vehicles had their hoods open, and they all had a light inside, just a dim light. And I realized that it, they must have a problem there with um, the uh, mice, the field mice, getting in and building nests on, on the engines in that area. And I was the only one that didn't have a light to put underneath. But we got to figure, thinking that these would probably work really well in there. You don't want to have the alarm on, just the flashing light alarm. <laughs> you don't want to get woke up, do you? No, you do, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> so we don't want every mouse climbing up on top of the engine, waking us up in the middle of the night. But why not? So every time the mouse goes, the mouse runs on top of your engine or something gets up in there, uh, I think this will pick them up. So I got to thinking, if you're camped somewhere where you don't want the mice getting up on your engine, you could put one of these on either side. The mice want to crawl up on that plastic cover on the top of the engine they want to build a nest up there so what you could do is set up one of these on either side and then if a little furry critter gets in there I don't have the alarm set off by the way watch for the red light it'll set this off there it goes so they're real cheap solar rechargeable serve a couple different purposes use it to protect your RV Use it to protect your engine. I think it's pretty cool. So did you leave a comment with a guess? Well, I'll tell you what this is. Like I say, Linda recognized it right away. This is a piece of petrified palm. You know, like maybe coconuts. There's different kinds of palm, but this is a palm tree. <laughs> and these, if you cut a palm tree down, this is what you see on the inside is all of these, all this porosity. Palm trees, palm, palm trees don't have annular rings like, like other trees, but this is what they look like on the inside. So sometime back maybe during the dinosaur age, right here in Montana, there was palm trees. Kind of wish it was warm like that now myself.